Hey guys, welcome to Don't Sell Hobbies. Now, I've been meaning to do this video. I just have been so busy with other things to do that I haven't had time. But today we are going to be reviewing, finally, Raven's Home. The, the first season. And uh, Raven's Home, if you guys don't know, it's a sequel slash reboot of the of the really fantastic but old cartoon that was on Disney Channel called That's So Raven, and it's it's fun. That That's So Raven was a show about uh, a girl named Raven who has psychic powers, and Raven's Home is her about I think it's 10, 20 years later with her own children. And it turns out that one of her children actually has psychic powers too and everything. It's a really fun ride, a really fun, uh, fun series. Now, it's not like a big series where every single little dot connects together, every single episode connects together. But you still do get a general storyline and it, it's just a lot of fun. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through what my top five favorite moments of the show was, give you a little bit of the overall story, and talk about the uh, the six main characters of Raven's Home. So let's, without further ado, begin. So when it comes to Raven's Home, it, it starts out with uh, Raven, we find out that she's actually with her best friend Chelsea, and I, I remember Chelsea, I remember growing up watching the, this show, I used to love it, me and my sister used to love it, my sister more than me, obviously, because it's kind of a girl show, but I used to love watching Raven's Home when I was a little kid, coming home uh, after school, and just turning on Disney Channel, oh, that's so Raven's Home, you know, it was, it was usually right before uh, my favorite show, uh, Wizards 101, so, I mean, Wizards of Waverly Place. So, yeah, I used to watch them both. Me and my sister used to enjoy the heck, heck out of them so much when we were little, and it's just really been fun to revisit some of these characters. Also, new characters are great, so she, she eventually, we find out that she's divorced, Chelsea is divorced, and they ended up at a ho uh, I almost say a hotel. They they end up li living in a little uh, little hotel hotel room uh, with, of course, a, a hotel apartment. Sorry, I'm so sorry. They end up living in an apartment with their three kids. Of course, Raven's got her two twins, and Chelsea has her son, and they all live in the apartment together. Of course. Uh, her her daughter has a great friend that comes over all the time and and you really get a sense of feeling home and relaxed in in, uh, in the show it it's really just quite fine and because I grew up with Chelsea and Raven what I what I really love about this is Raven is not an afterthought they did, they really want to make sure and I really think they did a fantastic job at making sure that Raven wasn't there as a second character and that they were pushing the other main characters the characters before at us too much like I didn't I never got the feeling sometimes whenever I see a reboot or a uh, a, a sequel they push the new characters at us too much and they don't let us really see uh, the main characters as much as we really would like that's not with Ra Raven's Home. Raven's Home, Raven feels like a uh, prominent role throughout the entire TV show, and that's what I really, really love about it. She is there. So we also find out that she was married, and her, her dad, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, she was married, and her husband eventually divorced, and he, he actually ended up moving to Texas, and then there was another episode where it had this really fu uh, funny moment where uh, the kids uh, really were worried about, you know, usually they have like a weekend with dad and then the rest of the time with mom. And now they have to have a weekend with dad with Raven. I really loved that episode. I think that was like either the third or the fourth episode of the season. 
it was a really, really fun episode in my opinion, and it just all go goes through, through and through. They go through multiple adventures uh, until they get to the end of the season. You know, there's there's one where uh, the where uh, one of her daughter's friends is actually uh, interested in this one guy and. Uh, and he doesn't really like her back, and there's a learning curve there, and it's it's just a great show. There's there's tons of laughs, tons of enjoyment. I really just enjoyed the show itself. Now, as for the main characters, let let me just tell you. I'm gonna tell you my least favorite from all the way to the top. All right. Let me just tell you that. So. Right now, let me just talk to you guys about Tess. Okay, so Tess is Raven's daughter. Raven has a daughter named Nia, and her best friend is Tess. And she lives down uh, the hallway, and she comes uh, over all the time and everything. And you know what? I think a lot of people did not enjoy Tess. She's just, she's just that that character that always comes over is friends with uh, with everybody I mean and it's just she's that common uh plain of the mill friend that you get in every single story and there really wasn't much story growth with her she didn't really grow as much of a character and you know what the jokes that she told Either you got the jokes or you didn't get the jokes. Either the jokes were on point and they were funny, or they were on point and they were not funny, or they just simply were not on point. The humor in the show, she is really supposed to be the comedic character, I think, and she usually, when it comes to the comedic relief characters, they never really end up on my radar as my favorite character. She is part of the main crew, but I don't think any of her jokes really were that great. I don't think the humor of the show, just because of Tess, was that great because of Tess. Not with the whole crew, it's just Tess's character. Nothing against the actor. The actor was brilliant, okay? She really, the actor really uh, uh, sold the very idea that she was a dumb uh, hillbilly, uh, sort of best friend character down the hallway, street thug, you know. She really sold that to us. I think she sold to us too well. I just didn't really like her jokes. But with that said, if I had to place her on this list, she would be my fifth favorite character. She would be number five on the list. Why? Because my least favorite character was unfortunately Nia. Yes, Raven star Nia. She really doesn't have I mean, sure, there is character growth there and and we get some sort of story there and we tend to want to spend a lot of time with her, but I just don't think they spend enough time with her character. I don't think she was written very well in my opinion. The actor was fantastic, but I mean, I just never end up really caring about Nia ever. There was only one episode in the entire uh, season that I, I thought was kind of cool with Nia, and that was the whole one where she was uh, trying to talk to her dad about moving in with him, and then it ends up her dad is moving across uh, the state, uh, not across the state, but, you know, out of the state, and she decided, yeah, she can't do that, she wants to stay with her mom and everything. I thought that was a fantastic episode. Again, that's like the third or fourth episode, and I, I thought it was brilliant. I really enjoyed that episode. I really thought Nia was going to be a really great role in, in the show, but... Really, I I find her not to be. Nia is probably my least favorite character on the entire show. So, moving on, if I had to pick uh, my fourth favorite character, without a doubt, Booker. And you know what? 
I, I would go as far as my number four and my number three, uh, which is, of course, Booker and Levi. Those two characters are, they're tied in third place, those two characters. I don't even know why I said fourth, because those two characters, to me, you really get the sense that they have been best friends since they were born. You really get the sense that they know each other, that they are becoming brothers, and it's just a fantastic story. That they are really a prominent role in the character in the show as well. And Levi has uh, great humor, as well as Booker. Actually, I really enjoyed Booker in this entire season. And you know there was this really uh, funny episode where uh, eventually, eventually Raven and Chelsea decide to actually leave the kids home and you think the kids are going to get into big trouble and it turns out that they get into big trouble and Booker and uh, it was Booker and Levi's idea, the both of them, that eventually they decide to go save their mom and what happened <laughs> is their mom, which is Raven, of course. Raven and Chelsea go to this, uh, this club, and they end up being locked in the vault. It's hilarious. And then they have to sneak in to save their mom, and their, uh, uh, to save their moms, you know, Chelsea and Raven. And it's just enormously funny. I found the entire episode hilarious. I just loved the entire show, uh, Levi and Le Levi and what's his name? Levi and Booker. That's right. Those two characters are without a doubt uh, some of the best characters ever. And then let's actually talk about the main two characters of the show. Raven and Chelsea. Who would be my number one? Who would be my number second? Okay, let me just, before I say this, let me make it clear. Raven and Chelsea are not like the uh, the uh, old characters and they just put them in the back and they're constantly pushing uh, the new characters out. It's not in this show. In this show, it really feels like Chelsea and Raven are a humongous and big role in the story, which is important to me. And the kids go on their little adventures and then we have Raven and Chelsea, and it's just fantastic seeing these two adults. Uh, really, I just love the characters. I loved the characters when I was kids, and they're absolutely fantastic now. What? Uh, oh my god. They're, they're just fantastic. They're fantastic characters, but if I have to, uh, have to rate them, I would say that this might shock people, but Raven is second to Chelsea. What? It's Raven's home! Why is she uh, second to Chelsea? Really, I don't think this show could work without Chelsea. Chelsea, she is a very humorous character. She is very, very funny, very comedic, but at the same time, and it's like mom humor as well. The mom humor in this show is not like it's over the top, it's like perfect. Uh, it's uh, enormously funny and I end up laughing at Chelsea more than I end up laughing at Raven throughout the entire show. And Chelsea is just, she is what makes this show work, you know? She is an adult and she has very adult moments, but she's still that, uh, comedic relief character, and never throughout the show did she lose her comedic relief, or the fact that she's an adult, because sometimes people, uh, when they try to do opposite things, they come off as completely different characters, and it's very hard to blend that together. I think Chelsea blended the comic relief character with the adult mother character perfectly, and so did Raven. I just laughed at Chelsea a whole lot more. Now, if uh, I was talking about my favorite moments of the TV show, 
Uh, I, I have five favorite moments of the TV show, in my opinion. Uh, no, uh, at number five, number five would definitely be, okay, like I said, in episode three or four, so, so her husband, Raven's husband, ends up moving uh, uh, to Texas out of the state, and what happens is usually they have like a Father's Day with, uh, uh, or a Father's Weekend, a Dad's Weekend with their dad, and they spend all this time with their mother and this time they actually want to make a dad's weekend with their mom and you know they go to the park and everything else and it, it's just a huge fun enormous ride and eventually they end up being stuck in on this ride that goes all the way up into the air and they're strapped to a uh, to a pole and Raven is scared of heights, so am I, so I feel for her. She is just stuck there, I'm laughing my head off, and they're having this really, really awesome uh, family moments stuck to the middle of the pole, and it's fantastic. I absolutely loved that moment. In my opinion, that was like the best moment of the uh, of the uh, show of the episode and definitely deserves a spot on my list for my favorite moments of the TV show. Now my next favorite moment th this is uh, kind of interesting like I was saying I, I, and I have to look up her name guys I am sorry I can't remember these guys name Tess that's her name so my next favorite moment has to do with Tess, which is hilarious. Again, Tess, I really didn't like the character until this one episode. Okay, so Nia, I don't know what Nia is doing. Nia is, uh, she, she is out of town or something like that. And Nia, uh, I mean Tess, finds this guy that, her, that she likes, and Booker finds out, and Booker has a, a, uh, a vision that she is going to get uh, get heartbroken by uh, this boy. So she, he so he goes through this entire adventure trying to protect uh, try, uh, trying to protect her feelings, you know. And they end up being really good friends and all. And I just thought because it had such character growth on Tessa's part that it has to become my, my favorite uh, part of the show, definitely, because that character growth was, is, it's just brilliant. It's just great to see uh, them actually taking time and focusing on that character. Now, I just hope that next season, they focus a little bit more on Nia's character, because Nia's character was lacking for me. With that said, my third favorite would, of course, be uh, the episode with Nia. So, you know, Nia is uh, stuck in a room. Uh, uh, no, she actually, she used to sleep on the couch, right? And her brother and her uh, cousin, which is, of course, uh, Chelsea's uh, son, Levi, is, of course, living there. And she's getting a little fed up. She's like, Oh man, uh, she he's worrying about whether or not to move or not. She goes to her dad, uh, trying to see if she can move in with him, and it turns out that uh, he's moving out of the state, so she can't. And you know, she's just getting kind of fed up with her living situation. And and there's a bunch of humorous mom jokes in this episode because of a. Uh, a Raven and I absolutely loved the episode. I think it was like the fifth episode. I'm not, I'm not certain. I'm not certain, but eventually at the end, what happens is Chelsea gets a great idea. So Chelsea turned her room into uh, into Nia's room, and Nia got some really cool character growth. And I liked seeing Nia get her own room, and Chelsea just started bunking with a Raven. She she now sleeps with Raven and they have their own room. So it, it just worked out really great for Nia and I felt really bad for Nia in this episode. I really could, you, you know, because 
you just really relate to these characters, you know? And it's just fantastic. Uh, fantastic characters. And I really just ended up really liking that part of the show. And then we move on to my next favorite part of the show, which is my second favorite part. Okay, so there is this one part, one part of the show, and it's actually... The, it's in the exact same episode where we were actually just talking about uh, uh, Tess's character growth. The, the episode where Tess has a character growth. Okay, so they have a little bit of character growth with uh, Raven and Chelsea in that episode too. And it's absolutely hilarious and funny. So what happens is, okay, so... Levi is, uh, he wants to do magic, right? But he sucks at magic. And eventually he makes a mess. And Chelsea goes up to him and says, Levi, I need you to clean that up for me, okay? He says, we'll do it later. He'll do it later. And I completely understand that as a kid. If, uh, somebody, uh, if, like, my dad or, or if somebody asked me to clean something up, I would say, just give me five more minutes, let me finish my show, let, let it go to commercial, and I'll clean it up immediately. But if, uh, if somebody like uh, my mom asked me, I would get up right away, because, you know, she's no joke, you, you know? that That's kind of how my household was, and that's how this household is. So, Chelsea uh, says, okay, well, make sure you clean up, and walks away, and then Raven's like, Oh, no, he didn't. Raven gets up, asks his, uh, him to clean up, and he cleans it up right away. So it makes this funny little uh, dynamic between Chelsea and Raven arguing about their parenting skills. And it's just enormous. And eventually they end up uh, going to a... Because, again, Booker is trying to prevent his vision from happening. So what what happens is Tess's uh, boy, the boy that she likes, ends up uh, uh, going to a nursing home and participating, right? Uh, volunteering at a nursing home. So he volunteers at the nursing home to hopefully keep him from growing uh, so he, he doesn't end up breaking Chelsea. I mean... Tri uh, Tess's heart. And then what happens is while at the nursing home, Raven and Chelsea get a job watching this guy and they end up trying to teach him to dance and then they end up fine and dancing themselves and through it they end up coming to an agreement and it's just absolutely funny but what happens at the end is the old man that they were supposed to be watching goes missing and takes off his clothes. It's just enormously funny. I absolutely loved it. Was a big favorite of mine. My first favorite uh, part of the... My first favorite uh, moment of the show, though, would definitely be the entire season finale. So what happens is Raven uh, and actually Raven and her son Booker has the exact same vision that she's going to get fired. And so she actually goes to try to not get fired, but she takes the the wrong uh, shirt design, and it ends up being that her boss loves the shirt design, and then her son goes to help her with the with her shirt design, and it ends up that she absolutely hates her design. So they, they end up working together trying to prevent her getting fired, and eventually they both end up getting her fired. So, uh, it's just enormous fun. I absolutely loved the entire season finale. But that's about it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I absolutely loved Raven's Home. I cannot wait to see the next season. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this season, and I'm out. Bye!